What is up, everybody? Ruben Vasby here with another episode on the World of ODM server. I know that I have been gone for a while. I had to take a hiatus to deal with some, I guess, personal issues, you should say. Um, so I took a step back with the gracious support of everyone that I play with here on this server. And I'm back. I am currently out at the witch farm, and I am just going to be mining away today talking to you guys about my plans for the server. Um, we might take a brief break and go over and see all the things that I've done while I couldn't record. Um, I would still pop on when I had some spare time, and I would do builds. Um, Mantis did help me finish up the wall, which was greatly appreciated um, over in Enderwood Hollow, and I'll take you guys on a tour of that as well. Um... <clears throat> But yeah, so for right now, basically, oops, hello big hole, um, basically I just wanted to um, do some mining um, and talk. So right now, I'm sure if you guys are all aware and watching all the other people that are playing on the World of Odium, <clears throat> we are working on a Salem witch town that is, got some old world builds and some new world builds. Um, And, uh, it's basically if the Salem Witch Trials had never ended, but time has progressed with them still persecuting. Um, and this was an idea that I put out there. I really love the story behind Salem Witch Towns. Um, I love the TV show Salem. So it was really easy for me to get behind doing something like this and being able to be inspired to have builds that I wanted to do. So, naturally, I took on the Sibley house, the house where um, Mary Sibley lived with her husband, and um, I believe his name was George Sibley. Um, they, he was the founding, a founding family of Salem, um, and, you know, she was a younger woman that he ended up marrying, and in the TV show, their marriage was because she actually was a witch, and she was using him to be able to have affluence and power among the people of Salem to be able to complete out her grand right, which was to eventually have 13 Puritans killed um, in the name of her master, which I guess is Satan. Um, but that's neither here nor there. Um, so what I decided to do was build her house. I built it based off of what it looked like in the TV show. And yeah, we'll go over and we'll take a look at that. I finished that. I did um, Tichiba's house, um, her shack in the woods where she performed her magic. Um, for Mary Sibley, because Tichiba too was a witch. Um, so we're going to go and we'll take a look at all of that as well when we're in this episode, hopefully. It might be a little bit of a longer one, but like I said, it's also going to be a super talky one, so I apologize in advance. Um, just because I want to get some of this witch farm dug out because I haven't done a ton out here. The last thing I did was when we did the interview with Nerd, which I couldn't, uh, I couldn't publish because you couldn't hear Nerd. You could only hear me. So if you want to check that out, A Wandering Nerd has that up on his channel um, from where he did Getting to Know Ruben Valsby. It's definitely something good to watch. Um, and hopefully here I wanted to do it for Nerd because nobody was doing the Getting to Know Nerd. So I think I want to take the time to be able to do that. Um, but I had to be able to get things in order first. So speaking of getting things in order, the first thing I did is I got a new computer. Um, it's great. It's good for recording. My videos are nowhere near as choppy as they were back when I was recording on my old iMac. Um, which, don't get me wrong, was a good computer, but it wasn't the right computer for me and what I wanted to do. Um, so with the help of Spanky and Knight underscore 13, um, I went to Best Buy and bought myself a new computer. And it's a, it's a nice computer. I absolutely love it. Um, compared to the last computer I was using, the thing is a beast. Um, it may not be in the world of computers, but compared to, you know, when you're only used to eating hot dogs and macaroni and cheese every day, not that there's anything wrong with that, um, you go out to a restaurant and you get steak and you think it's the best thing you ever had, even though it might just be a tiny little, you know, a tiny little patio steak or something like that. But, um, yeah, I'm absolutely loving this computer. I'm excited to get back out there and do more work on the Odium server. Um, I definitely missed all the people, um, which apparently there have been some ads while I've been gone, which is which is great to see. I was on um, I was on a stream last night with uh, his Beardly Man um, and and Knight, um, and yeah, so it's just been it's really good to uh, get back on here and see what everybody's been up to and be contributing again and getting my videos out there for everybody to see. I know by everybody I mean like my 10 subscribers, so I hope y'all didn't miss me too much. Um, 
So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a little bit more of this uh, witch farm dug out here, and then we'll hop over to um, we'll hop over to Salem, and I'll show you what we worked on there, tell you the plans that we have next for um, our next build in Salem, and um, who we're actually planning on building it with, because I'm planning on doing a collaborative build on this one. Um, someone had approached me and said they were interesting, interested in helping with this build, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to get to play with somebody else that I normally wouldn't play with in this capacity and see what they got. So, all right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go ahead and get more of this mined out. Cut. Alrighty, everybody, I am back. I got some mining done out at the witch farm, which was awesome. Uh, but I wanted to come over here and show you guys what I worked on in Salem. So first thing is the Sibley house. Um, I lost my recordings of this when I got my new computer because I didn't transfer everything over. But this is the Sibley house that I built. It's built in um, basic low detail, um, the original style of the colonies back in the day. Um, I added some detail just because it was kind of boring. Um, but here would be the servant's entrance. It's a Dutch door. So when you are accepting milk and stuff from the milkman, you could just open half. Um... So that's awesome. And then here would be the slave hands. This is where they would stay. Um, and then here's where they would cook the food. Dining room. Sitting area. Um, here's the living room with some decorations and some cobwebs. Um, entryway. And then we have the upstairs. To the right, you would have the master's quarters. So this is where um, Mary Sibley and her husband would live. And here's their closet. Oops. And um, over here would be just like a hallway. And then this is eventually going to be Tichiba's secret area. Um, she's got some captives in here and some requirements for the Grand Rite and a spell book and her magic chest. Um, Brownie Bits Gaming is going to be building me a redstone door, um, I think. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is the Sibley house. Um, and I built that. And then we'll go out here, out back. Here's the garden area. There will be some pumpkins going here for lighting. Um, I wanted to show Kai and Spanky uh, where I wanted them. Then out here in the woods, which I built these woods, all of these trees I planted, um, there is Tichuba's secret house. It's all completely overgrown. Um, Here's the entrance to the house. The vine will occasionally grow, which is awesome because you break it to get in. Just something simple where she can practice. Uh, that music is loud. There we go. Where she could um, practice her witchcraft and things like that. And then she has her first sacrifice of Salem burning at the stake. Um, another brownie. Sorry, brownie. Um, so yeah, and I built all these trees around here. I, well, I didn't build them. I planted and bone mealed them all because I wanted it to be surrounded so it was hard to see. Um, so yeah, that's what we're doing on Salem right now. And then next, I plan on doing a collaborative build with M. Wallace, and we are going to be Knockers Hollow from Salem, um, which is where all the poor and destitute people of Salem would live. Um, they would usually have, um, they'd have the plague or you know, some other type of, quote, uncurable disease at the time. Um, so yeah, we're going to be working on that. I'm trying to get together with him to find out when we will be doing that. Um, but it's kind of hard being that he's in Greenwich Mean Time and I'm on Eastern Time. So yeah, so I'm going to hop in the Nether Portal and I'm going to head on over to um, Enderwood Hollow so you guys can see how that ended out and I will be right back. Alrighty guys, welcome back. I am just heading over to Enderwood Hollow now and here's what we've got. This is our first province. This is Enderwood Hollow. Um, start with the bridge that we built in the wall that we put in, um, that was finished out with the help of a crafting mantis, um, yeah, it just came together absolutely amazing, I hate the fact that I had to leave briefly, um, but it just, it just blows my mind when I fly through here that it was the people on this server that built this, like, it just blows me away, all of the amazing things that are here. 
um, that's why I'm excited to be back and to be able to be a part of building these amazing things with these people. So, you know, we've got a lot to look forward to and a lot that we're going to work on and a lot of great stuff that I want to, I want to bring to you guys. Um, so those who are watching, thank you. Thank you for sticking with me and watching this now after I was gone for so long. I know it's a little hard when YouTubers leave for a while to, um, to bounce back, but I'm going to do my best that I can. Um, I've got a commitment to the people of the server that I look on keeping. So yeah, that is all I have time for today, guys. Um, if you liked the episode, go ahead and give it a like. If you really liked it, subscribe. I always appreciate it. Um, this has been Rupin Valsby, guys, and I'm out. I'll see you next time. Bye.